I really don't know why I stopped that part, but then like... <sighs> anyway welcome back again to another video as you can see my hair is still glowing it's still looking good and your girl's natural skin even though i have my pimples even though i have it all going on for me i'm still i'm still looking good i'm still i'm still looking fly i'm still looking like a snack but anyway, um, today's video is to you of my first university experience. So after lockdown or when the lockdown was slightly lifted and I was able to go back to uni, I had a plan obviously to, you know, um, loosen up a bit because I feel like I'm uptight. <laughs> I am uptight. I'm super uptight with everything and that's just who I am. Not, not really. That's not who I am. But... That's the type of person I've accepted myself to be. So obviously I was trying to, you know, go out more, do things. And then I realized I don't have money for any of those things. That's literally the reason why I started working this year or why I want to work throughout this year and study as well. Because I realized that I need to start making streams of income because depending on my parents is not ideal. <laughs> Apparently, um, <laughs> it was actually a blessing for your parents having you sending money, sending you money at uni, and mine were actually when I asked for it. And then I had a, an issue. I can't ask for money. Like, I am so, I can't ask for money for my parents. I can ask money from anybody else. Like, I resorted to being in debt than asking my parents for money. That is the one advice I would tell every single student. Ask your parents money, especially if you're a first year. They know that you're trying to get in, get used to a new environment. They still have responsibility and are still liable to what happens to you because you are still new into this adult world that you're being introduced into. Because I can still say I'm I'm still a child, and I want to remain a child until I'm able to, you know, grow out of my comfort zone until I'm able to make my own money and be financially independent so my biggest advice to the first years going in now is that your distinctions in matric don't matter number one those distinctions that you got in matric they i'm telling you they really don't matter because you might not even get accepted to the like you would go beyond minimum requirements and still not get accepted because the choosing system is trash no cap, like getting into university is pure luck and God's greatness. Literally, it's just grace. I'm telling you, because I know people that had crazy distinctions, but we're still sitting at home because no buzzery, no financial assistance. So like there's a lot of things that can go wrong. So my biggest advice is to do whatever you love, because I know I love medicine. Like I knew that Whatever happens, I will get a medical degree. It doesn't matter what kind. I knew that I want to be in health. And occupational therapy was supposed to be me just passing by it. But then I got into the degree and I was introduced into everything about it. And it was just, I, I fell in love. I'm not going to lie. I fell in love with the profession. And I was like, I'm going to finish my OT degree and then go and get my medicine degree. Because I wanted to just do my first year and then transfer to medicine. But then I fell in love with the degree and I'm like, you know what, I might as well just finish it. Because who knows, this is an amazing degree. I get to meet and deal with amazing people. It has so many opportunities. As you can see, like given the way I speak about it, even the smile on my face just tells you so much about how I love this degree. And it is everything. <laughs> so yeah, that was just like a little sneak peek into my degree. So choose whatever you're passionate about. That's my biggest advice. Don't do whatever your parents tell you. Don't do anything they tell you. Then when it comes to online learning, make sure that you just have time management skills are the biggest important thing. Because that's what worked for me. Because I know my I know myself personally. Everybody knows that Marilyn loves organizing. She loves just being. I love things that are beautiful. I love organization. I love writing things down. So when it came to online learning, I was able to make time for school, make time to watch movies, make time to go to church, you know, make time to chill and hang out. Those were things I had when I went back. I got very close with my housemates. It was really amazing. I really enjoyed it. I think they're my flatmates. I don't know because COVID is like a flat or something. So yeah, those were just very fun times. And I think that everybody deserves that opportunity and everybody gets that opportunity. It just depends on who you want to open it to, who you want to allow into your space. So 
like i said my biggest advice is just to open up be open-minded don't be closed off like i was because i know i would draw when i try too hard i would draw immediately so but just be open-minded continue be be persistent because i think that was my issue i wasn't persistent with my character because i decided to you know bottle myself up so that i don't bother people um like why did i do that but then i did that and i didn't make any friends in my classroom like i had like a few people i would speak to but then they were not my friends <laughs> so with time when i started opening up to people started speaking about what was bothering me things got a little bit better another thing especially since i wasn't like you know a single room and everything i want to say shout out to Jivoya. she was an, an amazing neighbor because i am a loud person but I, I listen to crazy loud music like everything just goes super loud so shout out to her for like you know bearing with me just you know being there when i needed her because we grew so close and it was just so amazing and then there was bongi oh my god how could i forget bongi bongi was like the um, most amazing person ever she was a master's student that she was just amazing because she would help me out with anything if i needed directions on campus i needed things to do and it was just like all i'm saying is find your people because i think that everywhere you go you're gonna find people that are designed to help you and assist you in any instance and people that you need to help and you need to assist and be friends with i don't think that everyone is for everyone like honestly that's why you meet people you greet them and then they never try to pursue anything with you it means simply means that you are not their people and accepting that was a big step for me to move out of my anxiety because i had realized that i was trying to fit into groups of people i'm not designed to fit into because i stand out it doesn't matter where i am i stand out because of my color my race my hair and my smile my teeth my eyes everything about me stands out my character so just accepting those things and accepting who you are just helps you in just moving and being integrated into a new system that you're not used to because school and university are completely different things and my first year experience changed when i accepted that when i accepted that this is not high school i can't expect to have to be friends with everyone and let everybody know me because that's what i had in you know in high school like i knew half of my school <laughs> but like at the back of my head i knew people's names but then at uni you can't have that because it's like a mini world in a, in like a very confined system it's still confined but then the only difference is that it's not restricted to just the principal now you have a dean and you have the dean of every faculty and you have like there's just a lot of things that you learn that there's certain systems that work around universities that also work in the actual world that now if you commit just still something it can actually be considered a full-on crime so just yeah man just be yourself be who you are don't move out of your space to fit in other people's characteristics of who they think you are so i know who i am in christ i know who i am as a human being i generally just know me and I, like that happened it all happened due to lockdown last year if lockdown didn't happen i don't think i was going to be this person this year i don't think i was going to be more acceptant of who i am more acceptant of how other people treat me and what i should expect from them but anyway this weirdly became a very um quick motivational video when i was just supposed to tell you guys about my first year experience my first year my first year of university was interestingly amazingly shockingly intensely weird <laughs> just like myself and i did a lot of things man i entered the talent show became um the <laughs> the the debating unions media manager schools office and temporarily ca like there's so many things that happened i joined the oct which was a committee for occupational therapy in my university it's like some student reps type of thing it was amazing because i still like immersed into the characteristics of the person i want to be and the person i'm actually becoming and that is exactly what i want for you as a first year student so welcome to a brand new world of university welcome to learning about who you are and just an understanding yourself take this time to get to know who you are and take this time to experience life as you can and don't remember to <laughs> and don't forget don't forget to do well in school love you kids <laughs>
thank you so much for watching there is no way without going through the way and see you guys in the next video a video a video